Phoebe Bridges is an American singer and songwriter. Her sophomore album Punisher received critical acclaim. So let's dive into some trivia and facts about her life and career thus far. 1. Her full name is Phoebe Lucille Bridges. 2. She was born August 17, 1994. 3. She is an American singer-songwriter, guitarist and producer. 4. Bridges is from Los Angeles, California. 5. Best known for her work as a solo artist. 6. She is also known for being part of the musical group's Boy Genius, with Julian Baker and Lou Sidakus, and Better Oblivion Community Center, with Connor Robust. 7. Bridges made her solo debut with the studio album Stranger in the Alps, 2017. 8. This album was followed by Punisher, 2020. 9. Punisher earned Bridges widespread critical acclaim and four Grammy Award nominations, including Best New Artist. 10. Phoebe Lucille Bridges was born on August 17, 1994 in Pasadena, California, where she was raised. 11. As a child, Bridges made extra money by busking at the Pasadena Farmer's Market. 12. Bridges is a graduate of the Sequoia School in Pasadena and Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. 13. She spent some of her childhood in Nuclear, California. 14. Early in her career, Bridges played guitar and sang lead vocals in Einstein's Dirty Secret and played bass in Sloppy Jane 15. Bridges' career came to light when she met American singer-songwriter Ian Adams through mutual collaborator Harrison Whitford 16. Adams produced her major label debut 7A Cubed, Killer, and released it on his record label, Pax AM in 2014-17. During this time the two began a romantic relationship 18. In early 2016, Bridges supported Julian Baker on her 2016 East Coast Tour 19. In June 2017, Bridges signed to Dead Oceans 20. On September 22, 2017, she released her debut album, Stranger in the Alps, to generally positive reviews 21. The album was produced by Tony Berg and Ethan Gruska 22. On March 12, 2018, the social networking site Pebble named Stranger in the Alps the best album of 2017-23. On March 3, 2018, Bridges appeared on CBS This Morning, Saturday and sang Motion Sickness and Scott Street 24. Bridges's song Safe at Home was featured on Season 3, Episode 5 of the ABC Family Show Switched at Birth. 25. Season 3, Episode 17, of the same show featured her song Ask Me To, Steamroller. 26. Her song Georgia was featured on Season 8, Episode 2 of the ABC Show Castle. 27. The track Smoke Signals appeared on Season 1, Episode 7 of Burden of Truth. 28. Her song Funeral was featured near the end of Season 3, Episode 2 of the Fox show Lethal Weapon. 29. Her song Motion Sickness was featured on the Netflix television series Drink It's and on Season 1, Episode 3 of 911, Lone Star. 30. In May 2018 Bridges was featured on a remake of the Lord Huron song The Night We Met for the soundtrack to Season 2 of the Netflix television series 13 Reasons Why. 31. In 2019, Bridges teamed up with the Nationals Matt Berninger to record a track for Between Two Ferns, the movie called Walking on a String. 32. She also appeared in the film. 33. The song was released on October 17, 2019. 34. In 2018 Bridges, Julian Baker and Lucy Dukas formed the group Boy Genius. 35. They released three songs in August 2018 and subsequently announced an EP and a tour. 36. The EP, Boy Genius, was released on October 26, 2018. 
37. Bridges and Conrad Bast of Bright Eyes reveal their new band Better Oblivion Community Center on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. 38. They released their eponymous debut album in January 2019, released through Dead Oceans. 39. On January 26, 2019, they were interviewed on CBS This Morning Saturday and performed Dylan Thomas and didn't know what I was in for. 40. The show ended while they performed My City. 41. On February 26, Bridges released the song Garden Song alongside its music video. 42. On April 3, the 1975 released their single Jesus Christ 2005 God Bless America from their album, Notes on a Conditional Form on which Bridges featured. 43. She also features on three more songs from the same album. 44. On April 9, Bridges released the song Kyoto. 45. She announced via an Instagram post that her second album, titled Punisher, would be released on June 19, 2020. 46. The album was released a day early on June 18, 2020. 47. The album received widely positive reviews. 48. It made its debut at number 6 on the UK album charts week ending July 2, 2020. 49. Bridges garnered four nominations at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards for Best New Artist, Best Rock Performance, Best Rock Song, and Best Alternative Music Album. 50. Bridges' music has been categorized as indie rock, indie folk and emo folk. 51. It often centers around acoustic guitar and incorporates atmospheric strings, production and electronic instrumentation. 52. Her music has been described as anxious, melancholy and haunting. 53. Lyrical themes include death, trauma, therapy, depression and strained relationships, undercut by her dry wit and straightforward delivery. 54. Several of Bridges' songs are about personal issues, such as Kyoto, which was inspired by her strained relationship with her father, and Motion Sickness and Iku which are about previous breakups. 55. Her complex storytelling and use of evocative imagery has also been commended, such as in Garden Song. 56. Bridges has cited Elliot Smith as one of her favorite artists and her biggest influence on her songwriting and production style. 57. Her song Punisher explores her meeting Smith if he were still alive. 58. Other musical influences include bluegrass music, Bright A's, Blake Mills, Tom Waits and Nine Inch Nails. 59. Her music often features a wide variety of popular culture references, the writing of author Joan Didion, ASMR videos, television series Fleabag and true crime podcast My Favorite Murder were influences on Punisher. 60. Bridges is bisexual. 61. Bridges dated Ryan Adams beginning in 2014, before eventually breaking up. 62. Her song Motion Sickness is about the end of their relationship. 63. Along with several other women, Bridges accused Adams of sexual misconduct in a 2019 report by the New York Times. 64. Bridges was in a relationship with touring drummer and musical collaborator Marshall Vaughan until around 2017. 65. Her song Iku is about the end of their relationship. 66. They remain friends and collaborators. 67. She has spoken about her struggles with major depressive disorder and anxiety, for which she has sought therapy. 68. Bridges is very active on Twitter and has been noted for her humor on the site. 69. Bridges is politically active. 70. Bridges. Fiona Apple and Matt Berninger released a cover of Simon and Garfunkel's 1966 song 7 O'Clock News, Silent Night. 71. 
The cover was updated to reflect events in 2019, including the shooting of both Gene, the opioid epidemic in the United States and the testimony of McMulvaney in President Donald Trump's impeachment trial. 72. Bridges released this song with a statement, Happy Holidays to everyone whose family has been literally or figuratively torn apart by Donald Trump, and to my racist, xenophobic, misogynistic, hypocritical family members, fuck you. 73. In 2020, she expressed support for and encouraged donations to racial justice charities via her website and called for the abolition of police during Punisher's release amid the George Floyd protests. 74. Bridges released her and Maggie Rogers cover of Iris as a single specifically to raise money for Stacey Abrams Fair Fight Action. 75. Having vowed to release the cover if Trump lost the 2020 presidential election, 